I'm Shuji Saiki, a pretty dull character who prefers being alone. Instead of hanging out with friends, I cleared everything in this game too. How boring. What do you mean? I can't believe you! Hmm? What's going on? I was so focused on the game, I didn't realize there were people around. The voice came from my classmate, Rino Miyashita, who was popular with both the boys and the girls. Don't make me say it again, Rina. I've decided to date this junior. That can't be. That's Daiki Waruma. He's handsome, but he's rumored to be a total player. The girl next to him is a first-year student, thought to be the prettiest girl in the school. How could you? You were with me! I've realized I'm not into flashy and rugged girls like you. Huh? Put it simply, I'm sick of you. It was too much for me to date a Garu. Laters! That's so cruel. I can't believe you! <laughs> it's understandable for anyone to cry if they were dumped like that. Having said that, I doubt a guy like me could console her. I've never even spoken to her properly, but I shouldn't just leave her there. Um... Uh. I just witnessed a bit of what happened. I'm very sorry. Oh, you're Saki from the same class, right? Y you remember me? I can't believe someone as popular as her remembers my name. I mean, uh, that's not important right now. Please, use this. Um, are you okay? Thanks. I don't think I am. <laughs> oh no. What does one do in this scenario? Sorry you have to see me like this on our first encounter. I'm a total mess. We're classmates, so I wouldn't say it's our first time meeting. No worries. I should be apologizing for eavesdropping. I am so stupid, aren't I? He was my first boyfriend, so I was so excited. Yashita. Looking back at it now, <laughs> it was strange that Daiki, who I had no contact with, asked me to go out with him. Looks like the rumors about Waruma going around playing with girls were true. Actually, when I started high school, I dyed my hair brighter, learned how to apply makeup, and tried my hardest at many other things. I did my best, but... The friendly and popular Miyashita. I thought she lived in a totally different world than a dull character like me. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Way to ruin a first impression, huh? You must be disappointed to know what a sorry girl I am. First impression? We've met as classmates, though. That's not true! I wonder what I should do now. Miyashita! That guy! We should get back at Waruma! Huh? Calling you flashy and rugged or saying he's sick of you despite your efforts? You can't let it end like this! Uh, you're right. I refuse to let him get the best of me after dumping me like that. I'm going to get back at Daiki! I'll root for you! I'm glad Miyashita was able to keep a positive mind. Since you suggested I get back at him, do you have, like, any good ideas? Uh, no. I was caught up in the heat of the moment, and I had no idea. Yeah, I kind of let my feelings get the best of me, and said it without any thought, but I'm the one who made the suggestion. I should take responsibility and come up with something. I'm not really familiar with fashion or anything of the sorts. Aha! I might be able to help you if you come to my house! Huh? Your house? Saiki, don't tell me you're aiming to- No, 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 no! It's not like that! S sorry, sorry. There's no way, right? Uh, continue. Ah, uh, sure. No worries. There's someone at my house who could help. That's why. Could you come to my house? Sure. By help, I mean my older sister. Oh, you have an older sister? My sister is quite eccentric, though, so be careful. Yeah, what? I'm back, sis! Excuse me. Thanks for the hard work, my bro. Oh, who's that beauty next to you? I knew Miyashita would catch her attention. My older sister loves anything that's cute and beautiful. Nice to meet you. I'm your brother's classmate, Rina Miyashita. I'm Chizuru. I'm a plain boy's older sister. I mean, I am plain, but... So, Rina... I yes Can I touch you a little? T touch I mean, let me squeeze you. Sis, calm down! You're being embarrassing! Wow. Rina's ex-boyfriend is quite the douchebag, huh? Shall I go and deal with him? If you deal with him, it'll just be playing violence! Relax, my brother. I was only joking. I understand your situation. I, Chizuru-san, shall lend a hand. Th thank you very much! Thanks, sis. I'm sure my sister could come up with something better. Of course I plan to cheer Miyashita on, and help as best as I can. For starters, 
Mina, let's change back your hair color. My hair? You do look cute with this hair color. Actually, you pull it off very well. <laughs> Which is it, sis? But I think that color is too flashy for you. Your hair is damaged as well. My hair gets worse every time I have to re-dye it. It doesn't seem like your hair is accustomed to it. Let's use this opportunity to restore it. I'm sure your natural hair color would look great on you as well. I attend hairdressing school, so you can trust me. I trusted Sis to deal with this because she had a lot of knowledge regarding fashion. I'll be changing Rina's hair color back to normal. Since you're free, Shuji, I'll give you a mission. Alright, I'll do anything you ask. If it's for Miyashita, then I too... Then, Shuji, please go out and buy some haagen -Dazs. Damn it! Two hours later... Uh, what do you think? Her hair, which was once flashy brown, was dyed black. For a moment, I didn't recognize her. However, I felt this color matched her better. It's amazing how much changing your hair color can alter your appearance. Ouch! Something to say! Uh... I realized and faced Miyashita. Miyashita? Uh, black hair really suits you. Thank you, Saiki. Mm-hmm. I can feel the youth. Well, we're at it, Psyche. Why don't you change your image as well? Huh? Why me, too? Uh, she hits where it hurts. I commend your efforts. But do you know what would really encourage her? What will encourage her the most? You don't even know that. The greatest source of encouragement is seeing someone doing their best with you. I feel a lot better thanks to Miss Chizuru. I'm glad you feel better. The next time we meet is Sunday. That's when we'll go shopping for clothes. Yeah, my sis instructed us to go buy clothes this Sunday. <laughs> Miyashita chuckled. What's wrong? I just thought you seemed a little different than usual. Really? I feel the same. You were always in the corner of the class by yourself, so it was really hard to approach you. But now you seem bright, and it's fun talking to you. Uh huh? Getting complimented by the changed Miyashita made my heart skip. I'm counting on you as well on Sunday. Uh, of course! <sighs> Thanks for waiting! You still have five minutes till meeting time. You didn't need to rush. Miyashita? She froze when she saw me. Um, you're Psyche, right? Yeah, it's me. Is there something wrong with me? Uh, no, if anything, the opposite. That hairstyle looks really good on you. I'm glad. My sis cut my hair shortly after I walked Miyashita home. She gave me a short and fresh look. I was late because my sis was very particular about what I should wear. Your clothes match you too! You look very cute too, Miyashita. C cute Miyashita? It's nothing. You can just call me Rina. Oh, then you can call me Shuji then. Alright, Shuji. Let's go! W what do you think? It looks great, especially with your black hair. Because of how I looked, I would always wear flashy, thin clothes. But wearing modest clothes is really nice, too. I'm glad Rina looks happy. Did you find anything you like, Shuji? No, I'm not really interested in fashion, so I figure... I don't need it. You didn't intend to buy anything from the start, huh? Uh, yeah. I have a lot of black clothes, and I've come to think that's fine. Okay, then let me thank you. Thank me? I'll buy something that'll match you. No, 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 I'm fine. It'll cost money. Don't worry. I worked part-time to save money for dates. So I have lots saved up. Is that something you should boast about? That just means Waruma had been making Rico pay for all of the dates. I feel bad. Don't mind it. It's thanks for helping me. Rina's showing no signs of backing down. How do I change her mind? Maybe you should save that for after you get back at Waruma. I see. Maybe you're right. I'll treat you after things are settled. I was able to postpone it for the time being. Monday is a holiday, so I guess I'll have Miss Chizuru teach me about skincare and makeup. Man, you girls have it rough. Yep, that's why I'm counting on you again tomorrow, Shuji. I'll do whatever I can. Did you hear what happened to Miyashita? Heard she got dumped by Waruma. What? Poor Rina. That guy does some terrible things. They look like they got along well, too. If that's the case, she might not come to school today. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Huh? What a beauty! Did we have someone like that in our class? Let's go talk to her! 
Come on, Shuji, get in there. No, um, maybe it's better if I went back home. What are you talking about? We've come this far. It's meaningless if you're not here. The Shuji right now is really handsome, so have some confidence. Uh, Miyashita-san, who's the handsome guy next to you? This is Shuji, the boy who always played video games alone in the corner. Shuji Saiki. Everyone looks surprised, huh? It's because you're so pretty. It's because you're so handsome. Um, let's just say it's because we did our best. Yeah. Excuse me! Hey, Rina! Is Rina here? Huh? Daiki? Waruma came to our class. It's been a while, Rina. Wow. Now that I'm seeing you up close, you're really pretty. Did you change just for me since I told you that I didn't like flashy girls? No, I... I wonder if Miyashita is okay. I'm sure she'll be fine. We've been training very hard for this moment. This new Rina can surely satisfy me. Besides, you wanted to start things over with me, right? Let's go out. Waruma stated audaciously, coming back only when it's convenient for him. He acted as if there wasn't a single chance he would be rejected. Hard pass. Huh? Waruma froze in shock by the rejection. Of course the answer is no. There's no way I date a jerk who dates women on the spur of the moment. I'm done with you. You piece of shit! Getting all high and mighty because you look a little pretty? Stop! Let go! Shut up! Dumping me is impossible! I'll definitely make you my- Let go of Rina. Huh? Who the hell are you? You have nothing to do with this! I'm not one to just stand by and do nothing while some jerk harasses a girl. Looks like talking isn't getting anywhere. If you intend to hurt Rina, then I won't forgive you. Ow, ow, ow! I got it! I got it already! So, so let me go, man! I unwillingly let go of Waruma's arm. Damn it! Don't think you can get away with doing this to me! Waruma's glare didn't scare me the slightest. Just when I thought he was going to try something... Ew, Waruma's worse than I thought. What do you mean by you can satisfy me? So condescending! Uh, I'll remember this! Unable to bear everyone's stares, Waruma ran away after saying a typical line. Psyche, you're amazing! I see you in a new light, man! <laughs> Thanks. This is the first time I've ever spoken to the guys. Thank you, Psyche. No, thank you. I'm so glad you're not harmed. Psyche, you are so cool, and, um... Shuji. Rina, you're amazing. Huh? You worked really hard this past weekend. Then today, you not only got him back, but you also gave him a piece of your mind. It was incredible. That's why I want to do my best as well. I'm going to work hard to be as nice and bright as you are. Shuji. That's why, this time, can you cheer for me too? Of course. Now it's my turn. I want to be a man who can stand proudly next to Rina. Half a month later, Shuji, wanna go to the arcade? Sorry, today I have an important meetup. Called by a girl again, huh? Must be nice to be popular. Not at all. If anything, I'm the one you asked to meet up. Thanks for waiting, Rina. I'd like to say I wasn't waiting at all, but I've been anticipating this moment for quite some time. Rina saw right through what I was about to do. Rina Miyashita, please go out with me. I bowed and reached out my hand. She then wrapped her warm hands around mine. Yes, of course. Rina and I would continue to support each other and live happily ever after. Skinny, what are you doing? Hmm? I'm just hanging up the blankets. You see, if you hang them like this, they get fluffy. Do you like fluffy blankets, Yui? Yeah. All right. Well, it's dangerous out here. So let's go inside and play. Okay. Yui, you're such a good little girl. You're an angel. An angel? It means that you're so cute. I don't understand. Ah, uh, you don't understand, huh? I know what cute means, though. I'm Kenji Nimaru, 19 years old. This doesn't mean I have a child at this age. My dream is to become a preschool teacher. So I'm going to nursery school while working part-time at preschools and as a babysitter. Today is a babysitting day, and it's with one of my favorite little kids, the daughter of the Kawashima family. Yui Kawashima is usually quite shy and introverted, but she's a smart little girl and is well-behaved like an angel. Well, Yui, should we clean up before your mommy gets home? Yeah, Lush! Can you do it all by yourself? 
Yes, I can. Watch me. Wow, good job, Yui. <laughs> As we were cleaning up, we heard the doorbell ring. Oh, it's Mommy Aki. Mommy Aki, welcome home. Uh, hey, Yui, what about cleaning up? We're taking a break. <sighs> All right, fine. Kenny, you come here too. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Oh, welcome home, Mommy. Hi, Yui. Were you behaving yourself? Yeah, of course. Hmm, is that true? Yes, it's the truth. Welcome back, Miss Kawashima. Yui really was very well behaved, as usual. Ah, uh, well, Kenji, that's all thanks to you. Thank you for today. It was my pleasure. But are you all right? You're looking a little pale today. Hey, now, that's not something you should say to a woman. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm just messing with you. I know that coming from you, it's 100% your thoughtfulness speaking. Thank you for asking. A lot has been going on. The writer in charge has been holding onto three pages worth of completely blank material and hiding it until the last minute. Oh, dear. As a result, I've spent the whole day apologizing to every single department and company involved. I guess being an editor is a tough job. I do it because I love it. So I guess it's all right. Anyway, how did the room get so clean? We cleaned up together today, didn't we? We did it! Well then, we were still in the middle of it, weren't we? Can you put away all of the blocks, like we talked about? Mmm, um, liger. Oh dear. Hmm? But didn't we make a promise earlier? But... Yui? Hey, Yui! Which do you think your mom prefers? A good girl? Or a bad girl? Oh, a good girl. That's right. And at preschool, you're always a good girl that's so good at cleaning up, aren't you? I thought maybe you could show that good girl to your mommy, too. I'm sure she would be so happy to see it. I want to see it, too. Yui being a good girl. See? Why don't you show her? Okay, sure. I'll show you. Yui jumped out of her mom, Miss Kawashima's, arms and ran over to the toy box to finish cleaning up her blocks. Kenji, you really are good at this. No matter how hard I try, Yui is always stuck to me like a little bug, and she never lets go. Yui really is a good girl. So when I talk to her and explain it to her, she understands. Is that really all? What do you mean? Oh, I'm just saying that I think you're very skilled, and that's really impressive too. Kenji, mommy! Yes? Wow, good job! I say this a lot, but I really do think you're meant to be doing this. Look at how much Yui likes you, too! I actually didn't have any family growing up. And since I grew up in facilities my whole life, I'm pretty good at taking care of little ones younger than me. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, no, it's okay. It doesn't bother me at all. If anything, I'm extremely proud that I grew up in that center. And it's not like I hide it or anything. I see, but really, you saved me. Today was a lot to handle, so I have to admit that playing with Yui is going to be hard. Well, then would you like me to stay a little longer? What? Really? I mean, of course I'll have to charge you for the overtime, but... Of course, that's not a problem at all. Oh, I'm so relieved. Ah, looks like Yui's running out of battery soon. I'm going to go ahead and put her to sleep so you can go take a shower or do whatever you need to do. Are you sure? I'll also start preparing for dinner. Do you mind if I use whatever I find in the fridge? You're really spoiling me, but I'm not gonna say no. This is a special case. <sighs> I can't remember the last time I was able to relax and take a leisurely bath. Are you sure that was enough? There's still about an hour left before dinner is ready. Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, wow. I'm sorry, it's all just simple things. But is this okay for dinner? Wow, Kenji, you can also cook? Well, I'm so hungry, I can't wait. Mmm, it's so good. Well, I'm happy to hear it. Yeah, it's so yummy. You don't need to eat so quickly. There's plenty left over, too. Wait, uh, uh, Miss Kawashima? Are you crying? What? Oh, wait, what? 
Why? <sighs> you must have been exhausted. I'm not old enough to drink alcohol yet, but I can at least listen if there's anything you want to talk about. Thanks. And so, while crying and eating at the same time, Miss Kawashima dumped out everything that she had been bottling up inside her. Like how her work hasn't been going well, and how she's struggling with the responsibilities of being a mother. It may sound like a normal and mundane everyday thing, but the fact that this is normal and she was having a hard time only means that everyone's having a hard time too. To put it simply, she was struggling. As a student who hadn't been an adult in the real world yet, maybe I couldn't fully understand that struggle yet. But, well, cheer up. Thanks. I don't know much about your work, so I can't say anything to that. But as for being a mother, I think you're doing an amazing job. I mean, just look at Yui. She loves you. And even today, as soon as the doorbell rang, she dropped everything and went running to the door. No, no, it's not it, though. That girl is just afraid of being left alone again. What do you mean? You told me a little bit about your personal life, so I'd like to share from myself, too, but... Yui is actually my sister's daughter. My sister and her husband passed away in an accident, and she was left behind, so I took her in. Really? I had no idea. Yes, that's the truth. Even then, I think you make an amazing mom. I know the pain of losing your family, and it took me a long time before I could ever smile again. But even if she might have been so unfortunate, Yui is still laughing and smiling. No matter how small, there's no denying that the reason for that smile is you, Miss Kawashima. Thank you, Kenji. Sure. You're even more beautiful when you're smiling too, Miss Kawashima. You're really good at flattering, aren't you? Huh? I'm not just saying that to flatter you. I mean it. Well, just because you're good at complimenting me doesn't mean I'll be raising your pay. Anyway, I'd like to have seconds. Her cheeks were a little rosy, as though she was blushing and she handed me her empty bowl. It was no joke, and no flattery, that Miss Kawashima truly was beautiful. After we opened up about our personal lives to each other, I came to frequent the Kawashima house more. I no longer called Miss Kawashima by her last name, and now I called her Miss Aki. On days when she was tired, it wasn't rare for us to have dinner together either. Mm, well, these flavors on the boiled vegetables are my favorite. Well, the next time, I'll make a little extra. Are you sure? Yeah, it's not like it takes any extra time to do so anyway. Thank you. That makes me extra happy. Oh, come on. I can at least do the washing up. No, no. This is all part of my pay. No, no, no. You're being paid for babysitting, right? You're not a housewife, so you really don't need to do this much. Although, I guess you've been helping me with the cleaning and cooking, so I can't say that either. Oh, looks like Yui woke up. Oh, I'm sorry, Yui. Was I too loud? Mommy. Yes, that's right. It's Mommy Aki. Daddy? What? Is Kenny Daddy? Uh, Yui, what are you saying? Kenny is Kenny, you know that. But Aki is Mommy Aki. Yes, yes, that's right. So then why isn't Kenny Daddy Kenny? You mean Kenny isn't going to be my daddy? Why not? Iwi, you can't just say things like that. It's going to make Kenji uncomfortable. Uh, no, no, I just don't want you to be uncomfortable, Miss Aki. Oh, no, no. It doesn't bother me at all, but I mean, come on. I'm sure you don't want someone saying that about you, an old woman like me. Um, Miss Aki, you're beautiful. And it doesn't bother me at all, if anything. What? Oh, um, no. It's nothing. I want Kenny as my daddy. <laughs> oh, looks like she fell back asleep. Ah, uh, yes. Well, uh, uh, I'll go finish up the washing. I yes, thank you. Miss Aki, how about you finish up the rest of your work that you said you needed to do? Uh, yes, that. I guess I should go now. <laughs> there was a slight awkwardness in the air. Yo, Kenji. You seem pretty tired today. Ah, uh, yeah. I couldn't sleep well last night. What is it? A girl? 
I want to say no, it's not, but you're not wrong, I guess. Hmm, interesting. So that means that you realized your own feelings when a third party pointed it out to you. To put it simply, I guess so. Well then, you better hurry up and do something about it. You know it'll be too late if someone else gets there first. It's not someone that I can easily approach like that. I mean, she is a successful working woman. There's no way she'd even consider a college kid like me. Hmm? Oh yeah, I remember you telling me that you met her at your part-time job, right? Uh, yeah. What about it? And wasn't your part-time job at a preschool? Oh, shoot. So does that mean she has a kid? Is this an affair? It's not an affair, and due to a situation, she's a single mother, and she's never been married, I think. Just give up, then. For an inexperienced relationship level one like you, that's a pretty high hurdle. I know, you're right, but... Well, if you hear me say that, and you know it, but you still can't give it up, then you don't have a choice but to go for it, right? Easy for you to say. Personally, I just want you to date someone who's a good match for you. And what makes you say that? As your friend, I only want what's best for you. Yeah, yeah. But you know, love doesn't have a rhyme or reason. Even if you fail in the end, there's a big difference between doing nothing and giving up or at least giving it a try and being rejected. You'll feel completely different about it. Plus, it's not like you don't have a chance, right? So all you can do is try your best, so that you have no regrets, right? You say some good things sometimes. Shut up! Everything I say is right. You're welcome. Yeah, well, you're right, anyway. It's exactly like you said. I'm truly sorry. I tried, but there is no way I was going to make it in time to pick her up. It's no problem at all. I'll take her back to the house now, and we'll hang out as usual until you're done. Thank you so much. I owe you. As a thanks, on the way home, I'll get you some of the cream puffs that you like. Yeah, can't wait. Here, Yui. Tell your mom that you're rooting for her. Mamiaki, you got this. Yeah, I will. See you later. And Yui hung up the phone. Kenny, hold me up. All right, all right, come here. Throw me in here. Whoa there, wait until we get home, okay? Let's go. Yeah. Kenny, what is this? Oh, it's a poster for the summer festival. Festival? That's right. There are a lot of stores, and even at night, there's a lot of lights that are shiny and a bunch of bright flowers bursting in the air. Wow! Oh, are you interested? Do you want to go? I want to go! All right, well, why don't we try asking your mommy? Yeah, I will. What? Summer festival? Kenny said it's amazing. There's a lot of stories and flowers go boom in the sky and it's shiny. I'm sorry. I tried explaining it to her, and now she got a bit too excited about it. I want to go with you, Mamiyaki. And when is it? Um, it looks like it's going to be next week on Sunday. I think the Friday before is her last day of school, so it should be fine. Well, that's great. Did you hear that? Looks like your mom can go to the summer festival with you, Yui. Yay! And what about you, Kenny? You're coming too, right? What? Me too? Yeah, I want to go with Mamiaki and Kenny. The three of us together. Well, uh, that seems to be the case, but what do you think? It's my daughter's request, so of course I'll be happy to pay you the same fees as usual. No, no, you don't need to this time. I'd love to join you both, as a friend. All right then, it's decided. And so, unexpectedly, our first outing as the three of us was decided. Sorry to keep you waiting, Kenji. Oh no, I just got here too. Wait, what? Huh? What's wrong? Miss Aki, you're not in a yukata. Well, of course not. I'm not at the age anymore where I can bounce around in a yukata. Plus, it would be quite sad to get all dressed up with no one to compliment me. <laughs> well, I would have complimented you. What? I would have loved to see you in a yukata. I was actually looking forward to it. Kenny, it's okay. Don't be sad. 
Aw, well look at you and your yukata, Yui. You look so cute. <laughs> Am I an angel? The cutest angel of them all. Well, I guess you've already changed your mood. Yui looks super cute, so I guess you're forgiven for now. But I'd still love to see you in a yukata, so next time, please wear one. Next time? I won't be giving up on it either. Uh, well, I'll think about it. Shall we get going? Oh look, they're selling okonomiyaki. Isn't that your favorite, Misaki? Should I go buy some? Um, not today. Why not? Because I don't want to get green stuff stuck between my teeth. That's embarrassing. You never seemed to care about that before. Well, now I do care. I want to eat okonomiyaki. All right. Well then, you and I can have some. Yeah. Hey. Hey what? I want some too. I knew you would. I'll go get it then. Oh no, the sauce. If you don't wash it soon, it's going to stain. Oh man, this shirt's one of my favorites. Um, let's go find the toilets and, uh... Wait, Yui? Hey, Kenji, uh, where did Yui go? Yui was standing right next to me. Wait, what? Did she just walk off on her own? We have to find her! Yui! Yui, where are you? Yui! Can you hear us? Where are you? I don't see her anywhere. What do we do? If something happens to her, I don't know what I'll... It's going to be okay. Calm down! It was only for a second that we weren't watching her, so she has to be close by. Let's keep looking. Hello, fishies. Hey, little girl. Good evening. Evening. Where are your mommy and daddy? Oh, oh, they're over there. Oh, dear. It looks like they're looking for you. You should wave so they can see you. Okay, daddy, mommy, I'm over here. Yui! 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 Mommy, Aki? You can't just run off like that by yourself. Oh, thank goodness. Mommy, don't cry. Hey, young man. Your little girl is still very small, so you need to be sure you keep an eye on her. Yes, we're very sorry. No need to apologize to me. I'm sure it's tough being a young dad, but you got this. A father's job is to protect his wife and his kid. Yes, sir. I'll never forget it. Looks like Yui's all tired out. I'm sorry. Isn't she heavy? Not at all. I guess you're a man after all. Earlier, the man at the stall mistook me for her father. Oh, dear. <laughs> but unlike me, I think you'd make an amazing parent. You think so? Of course I do. Miss Aki, I think you're doing an amazing job at being a parent, too. No, no, not at all. I'm always relying on you, Kenji. But there's nothing wrong with that. No matter how amazing you are, no one can do it all by themselves. Thanks, but it's not just today. I'm always being saved by your presence. Kenji, what's wrong? Um, you see... Because I was abandoned by my parents, I had always decided that someday, whenever I get married, that I wanted it to be with someone who was going to be an amazing mother. I see, yeah. Well, I think someone like you would be able to find someone like that easily. And, well, about that. Earlier, when you were running around so worried looking for Yui, and you were crying and hugging her, I, uh... Huh? What I'm trying to say is, um... That, uh, you're exactly the person that I've been looking for. What? So, um, if you would be okay with it, will you go out with me? What? You know, I'm really not that great of a woman at all. To me, you're everything I've ever wanted. I can't even look after a child, and... But I know how hard you're working and trying. And I'm an old lady, and... You're not an old lady. But mature and beautiful is my type anyway. Um, uh. Well, now that you know how I feel, you can decide what you want to do. What? Uh, um, yes. In the meantime, for our next date, I'd like for you and Yui to be in matching yukatas. I did say I'd make up for it. Shall we go home now? Yes. 
I wanted days like this, as the three of us, to last forever. When I saw Miss Aki's rosy face looking shy and sweet as we walked side by side, I had a feeling that it might not be such a distant dream. Good morning, Takahashi. Are you ready for another day of work? Sure thing, Hashimoto-san. I've been working for this company for three years. The person I was just talking to is my senpai, Ayana Hashimoto. I've been working with her on a project I was recently given. You're going to be leading this project, Takahashi. But if you ever need help with anything, just ask. Thank you. I'll be relying on your expertise. <laughs> if there's anything I can do to support you, I'll do it. No worries. Thank you so much. Hashimoto-san really is dependable. She's always supportive and kind. Plus, she's amazing at her job. So she's a real asset to the team. I first met her at the company's entrance ceremony. I have to hurry. I'm going to be late. But where's the hall for the entrance ceremony? When I was still new to the company, I got lost in the unfamiliar building. I had no clue where I was, even when I read the map. And without anybody nearby to ask directions for, I'd all but given up hope. Hey there. I haven't seen you around before. What's wrong? Are you one of the newbies? What are you doing here? The ceremony's about to start. Um, I'm trying to get to it, but I can't find the hall. I think I'm reading the map wrong or something. Oh, I see. You're lost. Um, yes. Unfortunately. The building is a bit complicated. It's no surprise you're lost. I often got lost too when I first got here. So, don't worry. I'll take you there myself. You do that? Well, it's not like I can just leave you here, is it? Thank you so much! Um... My name is Ayana Hashimoto. What's yours? I'm Toru Takahashi. Okay, got it. Shall we head for the hall then? Yes, please. That's how I first met her. Since we didn't exchange contacts or anything, I thought I'd never see her again. But as it turned out, I was placed in the same department as her. You're the guy from before! Hashimoto-san! So, we're in the same department. Thank you for helping me the other day. <laughs> I didn't think we'd be working together. It almost seems purposeful. Like it's fate. Fate? That's true. It does seem like a pretty big coincidence. I really am glad. I was hoping we'd meet each other again. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. It's nice to meet you again, too. We'll be working as colleagues from now on. I'm going to put you through a harsh training program, so you better be ready. Yes, ma'am. I'll be ready. Since then, she's taken such good care of me that I wouldn't be exaggerating to say she was the one that made me into who I am today. I was in love with a competent, kind, and cool Hashimoto-san. Although, it's not like I'll be acting on those feelings anytime soon. What are you staring off into space for? I'm sorry. I was just thinking about something. What on earth were you thinking about? That would be, uh... I couldn't very well say I was thinking about you, Hashimoto-san. <laughs> Never mind. But make sure it doesn't happen again. We have to make this project succeed, you know? Of course. Now, start getting these documents ready. It'll all be for nothing if we can't even get our client to sign the contract with us. I'm on it. I'll prepare them extra carefully. <laughs> That's the spirit. Let's do this. It's done. Hmm. Hmm. You've done well. It's very easy to read. You've placed data so that the viewer can access it all at the same time. And the graphics are good too. It looks friendly and clear cut. Thank you very much. You really have grown up. Your accomplishments reflect well on me as a teacher, too. Well done, Takahashi. Thank you very much. I used the skills you taught me for most of it. You might as well be the maker. That's not true at all. You were the one who absorbed everything I taught you and made it your own. You should be proud of yourself. I'm flattered that you think so. Keep up the good work. Don't hold back. If there's anything you want to try your hand at, go for it. I'll back you up. Hashimoto-san. Thank you. I'll do my best. That's good. But make sure not to overwork yourself either. 
Well then, shall we go home now? If you want, we could go for dinner together. I'll pay. Really? That would be great. What do you want to eat? I'd like ramen. Perfect. I know a great ramen shop nearby. Let's go. Yes, please. The project went along smoothly. Hashimoto-san helped me whenever there was something I didn't know. And once everything was in place, we headed over to meet our client. I'm starting to feel nervous. Don't be. You can do this. Besides, you've prepared all the data properly, haven't you? I have, uh, but I'm still nervous. <laughs> Stop worrying. You'll do fine. I've been with you all this time, so I should know. Hashimoto-san, thank you. I'll do my best. <laughs> I trust you. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Nice to meet you. I'm Mio Kudo. Huh? Mio? Why are you here? Is that you, Toto? It's been a long time. It has, but... But I didn't know you worked here. Yes, you did. I told you. Jeez, you never listen, do you? Don't you remember I told you I worked here? I'm sorry. I don't remember it at all. <sighs> You've never listened to me, even when we were kids. Sorry. I've gotten used to it, so it's fine, though. Um... Oh, I'm so sorry. Come on, Tardu. Get your head back in the game. We have a lot of catching up to do, so I'll call you later. Uh... Okay. I'm sorry. I'm being so rude. Oh, no. It's no problem. Now, to get down to business. What are the chances that Mia would be my client? Still, I shouldn't let my guard down, even if we are childhood friends. I have to concentrate on my presentation. The business meeting went exactly as planned, and we took the first step in getting the contract. But after the meeting ended, I'm glad it all went so well. This means we can finally proceed with our project. But why is Hashimoto-san looking so upset? Did I do something wrong? Takahashi, I'm glad the meeting went well. Thank you. But no matter how close you are with that client, that type of behavior won't do. Manners are important even among friends. Act properly when you're at the workplace. She's right. I shouldn't have behaved like that to a client, even if she's an old friend. I have to see myself more as the businessman that I am. I'm sorry. It's fine if you understand. Don't let it happen again. If you really want to talk, then do it after the meeting. I understand. I've got to do better from now on. At the next meeting... That'll be all for today. Is there anything you'd like to discuss further? No, thank you. I have nothing further to add. Thank you for your time. Well then, time to go home, Takahashi. Sure thing. How about we go to dinner? Hey, Toru, wait a minute. What's up? Replied to my messages already. I've been waiting. Sorry, it just slipped my mind. You really are a scatterbrain, Tardu. Sorry. It's all right. Anyway, come over to my house again sometime. I'll make you a hot dinner or something. Oh, and let's have another overnight gaming party. I bought the latest version of that game, too. For real? You're on. I won't let you sleep until you clear the last stage. Okay, then if either of us don't make it, we have to take a penalty. That's fine. I don't plan on losing. Okay, then. Make sure you reply to my messages this time. I will. I'll be waiting. Sure. Uh... I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Were you about to say something earlier? It's nothing. Let's go home. It's getting late. Huh? Okay... It's like Hashimoto-san gets depressed every time she comes to a meeting. Am I imagining things? What are you doing? Let's go. Oh, right. Sorry. The more the project went on, the more my workload grew. It was satisfying work, so I welcomed the busyness. But faced with an overwhelming amount, I started to feel panicked. If things go on like this, I might have to delay the next meeting. What should I do? Oh, right. It's times like these, I should talk to Hashimoto-san. Excuse me, Hashimoto-san. There's something I need to discuss with you. What is it? Well, 
it's about my workload recently. Oh, you can just do this like that. And we already have the data on that, so use it when you're preparing the documents. That should lessen your workload a little. Thank you so much. That's really helpful. I didn't do it for you. Make sure you don't fail. Hmm. I feel like Hashimoto-san is acting colder to me than usual. Or is it just me? Still, I seem to remember her teaching me a bit more kindly before. Does she think I'm useless because my work efficiency is lacking? <sighs> she used to have high hopes for me. Does this mean her hopes were misplaced? If I go on like this, she might not like me anymore. I can't have that! I've got to work even harder and make Hashimoto-san proud of me again! From the next day, I put all my energy into my work. I didn't stop for break time and tore through my assignments. I was the first to arrive at work and the last to leave. I was working like a maniac. One week passed. My... my head is spinning. My vision's getting kind of blurred too. I can't read the words on the page. Takahashi, can you hear me? Ah, uh, um... You've been staring off into space for a while. Are you all right? You have dark rings around your eyes too. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. If I give up now, she'd hate me for sure. I can't disappoint her more than I already have. Are you sure? Your complexion is terrible too. Haven't you noticed? You should go to the infirmary and lie down or take the rest of the day off. I... I can't do that. I have to do more. Takahashi? This is bad. I feel so dizzy from standing up so suddenly. Uh... Huh? Wait. Takahashi? Takahashi? I don't remember anything after that. Uh, uh... Where am I? What's going on? My hand's warm for some reason. What? Takahashi, were you working so hard because I was being called to you? That voice... Hashimoto-san? You've been working so incredibly hard lately. I knew you were pushing yourself too hard, but I couldn't stop you. It's probably because of my attitude, isn't it? <sighs> I hurt you with my own petty jealousy. I'm really sorry. Huh? Did you just say jealousy? Uh, Hashimoto-san? What do you mean by the word jealousy? T takahashi you're awake? I woke up just now. So what were you jealous about? To tell you the truth, I've been a little jealous of how you're so close with our client. Because I like you. Huh? Hashimoto-san? You like me? That's right. I've always been drawn to how you work so hard at everything you do. I don't believe it. I didn't have a clue. I did my best to keep you from knowing. But I guess I failed at that. I was trying to keep my private feelings apart from my work, but I couldn't do it at all. Instead, I lashed out at you with my petty jealousy. I'm the worst senpai ever. <sighs> I'm truly sorry. Um, Hashimoto-san, there's nothing going on between me and her. We're just close because we're childhood friends. Childhood friends? I thought you were a couple. Absolutely not. I can't see her as a woman. I've known her since I was a baby. Besides, she already has a boyfriend, and they're really close. Really? That's right. They're even engaged. I thought you were going out with her. I can't believe I made such a mistake. Oh, what have I done? But this means you'd love me so much you'd get so petty and irritable, right? Uh, well, since you put it that way, I like you. I like you so much, I don't know what to do with it. But what I did to you was still terrible of me. I'm so sorry. Please, don't apologize so much. It's adorable that you've acted like that out of love. Hashimoto-san, I've loved you for a long time. What? Really? I never even knew. <laughs> I was doing my best to hide it, too. You're the only person I've loved, and the only person I'll ever love. So will you please be my girlfriend? Yes, of course! Once the misunderstandings had been solved, my health improved drastically. 
My illness probably had to do with mental exhaustion, as well as physical. Thanks to my mental health improving, my work efficiency rose again. It sounds too simple to be true, but that's exactly what happened. Naturally, the project was a big success. Hashimoto-san's and my reputations went up in the company thanks to the new business venues we'd made possible. Both our private and work lives were flourishing when... Mio-san looks so beautiful. Not as beautiful as you, Ayana-san. That's besides the point. Oh look, they're throwing the bouquet. Let's go. Maybe we can catch it. I actually caught it! Then that means it's our turn next. I suppose so. I will make you happy. So will I, Ayana-san. I'll be waiting then. I love you, Tardu. I love you too, Ayana-san. My name is Wataru Hibiki, and I'm a 24-year-old business worker. I've been working at a department store in the countryside since I graduated. I'm currently in charge of purchasing sweets to sell. My hobby is going around places to eat delicious foods. I'm just a normal man, and there's nothing special about me. I'm going to suggest Japanese sweets for our next food fair. What do you think? Oh, I like Western sweets more. Don't sesame seeds and red beans give off a lame vibe? This is Kuroko Harada, my co-worker. She would confidently flirt with me a lot, and now we're in a relationship. Kuroko gets upset when things don't go her way, so I follow along with what she says most of the time. We're living together now at her house because she says, I want us to live together at my place. Lame? Japanese sweets have a deep history, you know. People started making them in the Jomon period, and it started spreading around because of tea ceremonies. <sighs> I don't really care about that. Do the rest then. You're my boyfriend, so you can do that for me, can't you? I think you should educate yourself at least a little bit. I started working here because I wanted to sell makeup. But they started personnel relocation. Gosh, they have no taste. I have no interest in snacks or sweets. Kuroko used to be in charge of the makeup department, but moved into this department about three months ago. It seems like this job is a bother to her, so she always forces me to take care of things. Gosh. The sweets are going to be delivered later, so you better help me with that at least. Oh, okay, okay, fine. What are they bringing in today? Luxury bomb kuchen from the Mitsuboshi Pastry Chef. I asked you to order it last month, didn't I? Oh, did I? Did she order it properly? <laughs> oh, I think they're here. Let's get this done quickly so we can get lunch. I'm tired. Wait, hold on. How many trucks are there? Isn't that a lot? Shoot. Our storage became full from all the boxes the trucks delivered. All right, that was 8,000 bombkuchens. Thank you. 8,000? We normally order 100, and that's even a lot. Wait, where did Kuroko go? Hey, what is all this? Who's in charge here? I was called to my boss's office to explain what was going on. You were supposed to order 80 bomkuchens! Why were there 8,000? The paperwork says you're the one that made the order! What's going on? What? That's not possible! Wait a second. That was when... I remembered something that happened between me and Kuroko a month ago. Are you sure I can leave you in charge of the orders? Gosh, you're so annoying. I told you, of course I did it. This is easy. But you're still not used to it. So let me double check for you. You're so annoying! You only act like my boyfriend during times like this. Let me do it my way! I remember now. Kuroko was the one that made the order, but... 8,000. So that's a loss of $200,000. For a department store in the countryside, that's a tough loss. If you're clearly at fault, we might have to think about charging you compensation for damages. It's my responsibility. I'm so sorry. It might be hard to stay in our company after making a mistake like that. You don't need to come to work, starting tomorrow. In the end, I was made into the person guilty of the mistake. I was fired from my job and even had to pay compensation for damages. I couldn't say anything back to him. I guess I'm at fault for not double checking. What the hell is going to happen to me now? When I returned home, I felt a sign that something was wrong at the door. Kuroko? Are you home? What is this? Is this my stuff? It is. I want you to leave. 
Leave? What are you talking about? I'm not interested in a man who got fired from his job and needs to pay a huge sum of compensation fees. Hold on a second. I moved here because you told me you wanted us to live together in your house. It was way easier that way. And I thought it was a win for me since you could pay my rent. And about me getting fired, you were the one who made that order, weren't you? Why did my name come up? I don't know. You don't have any evidence that I did it. You're the one who made that mistake. I'm not interested in a broke man who doesn't know how to do his job. Get out already. Give me back the spare keys too. But what did I ever do to you? You're so annoying. Don't contact me ever again. Goodbye. Wait! I had nowhere to go, and I didn't have much money on me either. I went into a restaurant that was open 24 hours. <sighs> Did I do something? I didn't tell my job about Kuroko because I thought that was better. I don't have a home or a job. How much will I need to pay? I don't have much savings either because I spent all my income on food. Oh god, my life is over. Oh, I have a phone call. Hello? Wataru! You have time right now, don't you? Come have dinner with me, okay? Okay. Uh, yeah. I guess I do have time. I'm at the usual restaurant, so, uh... Got it! I'll be there soon! Wait for me! She always calls me at the perfect time. This is Miku Kirishima, my childhood friend. We went to the same school from kindergarten all the way to college. She looks pretty and was popular with the boys. Still, I grew up with her thinking of her as my sister, so I didn't really understand them. She still calls me up from time to time and makes me go shopping or go to dinner with her. So, what are you carrying? Are you going to travel the world or something? That sounds like fun! Take me with you! There's no way I'd do that. It's a long story. Hmm... I bet you got yourself involved in something again, Mr. Kiss Up Wataru. Well, you're correct. She seems to always see right through me. I was explaining everything to Miku when... I think I got the gist of it. You got fired from your job, lost your home, have nothing to your name, and were roaming the streets, right? That's basically it. Gosh, what are we going to do with you? Fine, you can live in my house for now. What? Really? Seriously? I'll even let you borrow $10,000 to help you get back on your feet. Oh my god. You're doing the absolute most for me. Is it really okay, Queen Miku? But on one condition. What is it? Anything for you, Queen. It's nothing much. Just sign these marriage papers. Why marriage papers? One of the names is blank. What are you going to do with this? I have good connections, sweetie. A young man's marriage papers are actually super useful. You're joking. Is she going to sell me to a foreign country? I could expect that from Miku. So, what's it gonna be? You don't need to sign it if you don't want to. But if you're going to be homeless and sleep under a bridge, you're going to feel yourself slipping closer to death. This is bad. This is a terrible idea, but... Ah, who cares anymore? Did I make a mistake? I might have set myself up for something awful! Just like that, I was able to get my hands on a place to live and some money. I was so thankful to Miku, but in exchange, I was in no place to choose who I would be getting married to. Aw, this is nice. Shall we get going, Rataru? Yes. Thank you in advance. What? You live here on your own? Yeah, anything wrong with it? It's such a fancy apartment. There's someone at the front desk. Come on, let's go inside already. Miku, you were super rich? Wait, didn't I tell you? My business online was successful, so I'm running two companies right now. I'm so busy every day because of it. So, you're okay with taking care of household chores, right? It's the least you can do. This place does look kind of messy. There's even a pile of laundry. She must be super busy. Are you going to complain? Oh no, I'd love to do them for you. Suddenly, I became a stay-at-home husband. I've always loved cleaning and cooking, so I was having fun with it. 
Cleaning, cleaning, laundry, laundry, dinner is ready too. <laughs> I wonder when Miku's coming home. <sighs> I'm so tired. I feel dead. Welcome home. It's already past midnight. Do you always come home this late? Yeah, bosses are super busy, you know? Huh? <laughs> oh, it smells good in here. I made dinner. Let's eat together. Oh my god, Wataru! You made all of this? Oh, this is a feast! It's nothing. Are you even eating properly normally? Um, pre-packaged food from the convenience store. Snacks or <laughs> alcohol. I thought so. You only had alcohol in your fridge. I'm going to have you live a healthier life from now on. Yes, sir! Thank you! Before I knew it, a month passed after I started living in Miku's place. Until now, she was living an unhealthy life. She wasn't even eating properly. But it seems like she enjoyed my cooking because she started eating breakfast and even started drinking less. She was energetic again. Oh, I'm so blessed. But I think you've got me a little chubby. I think that's healthier and looks cuter, don't you? Unusual. I think this is the first time you called me cute. Is it? Uh, oh, I know. Since you're so good at household chores, you should make it your job. Hmm. But will that be successful? There are a lot of people being hired for cleaning and chores nowadays. A lot of people do a lot of freelance business. Maybe you should give it a try. You can use our website. Housekeeping services as a job? I've never even thought about that. Just like that, I used the $10,000 Miku lent me to start my housekeeping business. My cooking was extremely popular, and a lot of my initial customers became regulars. Before I knew it, my income was much more than what I made when I was a businessman. Hey, Becky, your cooking is so delicious. You're very knowledgeable, too, so I have a lot of fun talking to you. Thank you so much. If it's about food or sweets, Ask me anything. My housekeeping business was starting to become successful. In order to do a cheap advertisement, I uploaded a video of me cooking online. Suddenly, I became famous in the industry as an ex-retail businessman turned into a chef. You're so famous now. It's all because you saved me, Miku. No, it's because you worked hard. I only pushed you forward a little bit. I'm so happy for you and your new job. My experience from when I was a businessman is helping out a lot. Speaking of, I haven't been contacted by my old job about compensation fees for damages. I wonder if all those bomb kuchens were sold. Hmm, I wonder what happened. Oh, your phone is ringing. It's Kuroko. She wants to get back together with me. What? Kuroko? As in your ex? She's the one that dumped you and chased you out, right? Why is she contacting you now? I don't know either. She said she wants to see me. Hmm? Okay then, go see her. But it might be better not to see her anymore. You can't do that. She's probably gonna keep contacting you until you do. In exchange, I'm going to go with you. That's okay, right? Yes, ma'am. She seems mad. Is everything okay? The next weekend, Kuroko immediately came to see me. Wataru, I'm here! Oh, you've grown so much. You're living in a super nice place now. Kuroko, you look kind of tired. Wataru, I can't do this without you. I don't know how to clean or do laundry. I even tried to cook, but it wasn't the same. So, let's start over. Nice to meet you, Kuroko-san. That's very selfish of you to say. Uh, uh, who are you? This is none of your business. I'm Wataru's childhood friend. I'm responsible for him right now, so this is my business. I bet you started dating him because he's easy to take advantage of. That you dumped him because he was no use to you, right? Come on, tell the truth. Uh, that's not true. I, I love Wataru. Hmm? That's very convenient that you started contacting him after he became famous. Uh, uh, that's just a coincidence. A coincidence? You contacted your ex that you chased out of your house. There must be a big reason why you wanted to see him. Perhaps you needed help with money? 
By the way, Kuroko-san, I heard you got fired. Did you do something wrong? Uh, how did you know about that? The department store you work for is one of my important clients. Who, who the hell are you? By the way, I bought out most of the Barakamuchins from the company that sold them all. That's when I heard about Kuroko-san. What? Really? That's why I wasn't asked to pay compensation. The quality of the product was amazing, so I was able to make quite a profit. Oh, also, I told your bosses that you weren't the one who made the mistake with the order. That's why they did an investigation. But you also falsified paperwork, did forgery, embezzlement, and things like that, didn't you? Why? Why did you do that, Kuroko? Because life is all about money. If you don't have any money, you can't be happy. If you have money, you can get whoever and whatever you want. I need to be happy no matter what happens, okay? Quit acting like a baby! You can't gain happiness from the money you made by putting someone else through hell! Get your act together and put in the effort! Uh, I... I was putting in the effort. Kuroko! You can't be happy with just money! Life is about making other people happy too! Think about it! A person can't live without the help of others! Kuroko was forced to pay a huge compensation fee for damages by the department store. She cried to her parents and is somehow surviving like that. It seems like she's going to have to live a frugal life for a while. As for me, my company was on a roll. I was preparing to move out since I had rented an office slash living space. I say moving, but I don't have that much stuff. You're really going to leave? Oh, you're home! I'm not going to make you take care of me forever. I see. Here you go. Thank you so much. You saved my life, Miku. You don't need to give it back to me. I can't just do that. But man, I can't say no to you ever again because of this. Anyways, I'm heading out now. Wait, don't go anywhere. I've been in love with you this whole time, Matanu. What? What are you saying all of a sudden? It's not all of a sudden. Don't you know how much I've been trying to make a move on you? Uh, but, but we're childhood friends. I've been giving you gifts every year on Valentine's Day and your birthday, haven't I? Ever since we were kids. I've only had eyes for you. You're so intense, I swear. You've had feelings for me for that long? I'm sorry. I must have made you feel lonely all that time. I was so happy during the first few months that we lived together. You always contacted me whenever I was sad or in trouble and forced me to hang out with you. Was that all on purpose? You're so easy to read, Ratadu. I could tell by looking at your social media. I can feel whether you're going through a tough time or whether you're in pain. I didn't know. I guess I really am dense. You finally realized? What are we going to do with you? I also have feelings for you, Miku. Really? You're not just saying that? I'm not. I thought that we would be better off as childhood friends. But I can't hold my feelings in anymore. Me neither. Well, you make me the happiest person in the world. I promise to protect you for the rest of my life. Let's get married. Of course. My name is Masaki Kitamura, and I'm 25 years old. I work as a salesman. One day, my best friend from college, Kojima, asked to see me. He suddenly bowed his head down and begged me for a favor. Masaki! I'm begging you! This is the last thing I'll ever ask from you! The last thing? You're so dramatic. Lift your head up, man. I'm not being dramatic! I just need you to meet her and go on a small date! But she's a regular at the restaurant, right? My best friend's request, in summary, went like this. Kojima became a full-time worker at the izakaya we were working at during college. A regular at the izakaya asked him to introduce her to a guy. She always reserves for big groups with him, so he couldn't say no to her. PLEASE! You broke up with Emmy, didn't you? Uh, yeah. So I'm currently working through a heartbreak. All the more reason to meet her! Why don't you mend that broken heart with another girl? Don't say it so casually. I was dating her for five years, you know. I met my ex-girlfriend, Emmy, when I was in college as well. 
We'd been dating for five years since I was 20 years old. She would visit the izakaya often and wait for me to finish work at the counter while she watched me. Masaki, I'll take it from here. Thanks, man. Gosh, you made me wait so long that I got drunk. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can clock out now. Let's go home. Let's go to your house then. Just like that, we were a lovey-dovey couple until we finished college. After we graduated and both started working, Emmy started to spend a lot of money. Instead of saving, she would spend money on hanging out with friends and fashion. In the end, I would pay for all of our dates. Miss Saki, you want me to stay pretty, don't you? I mean, it's true that she's getting prettier and prettier, but... And last month, Emmy finally dumped me. I'm sorry, Misaki. I fell in love with someone else. That man makes double your salary and loves to spoil me. So I was going through a heartbreak at the moment, but Kojima wanted to introduce me to a regular at the restaurant. She's a beautiful lady, you know. She seems like a hard worker, too. She works at a beauty salon. Then she can meet other guys, can't she? The thing is... She's nine years older than either of us. So she's 34 years old right now? She's a very beautiful lady. You don't need to say it twice. It didn't seem like he was going to back down, so I finally agreed. I waited for the woman in front of the station on the day of our date. Her name was Yukari Himekawa, apparently. But Kojima didn't send me any pictures of her. Instead, he gave me her number. So we've been messaging for the past three days or so. I didn't have any pictures of her, so I was curious. Her polite way of talking and subtle emojis made a good impression. But I wonder what kind of person is going to meet me. Um, excuse me? Yes? What is it? Whoa! She's so beautiful! You're Masaki-san, aren't you? Yes, I am. Are you Himekawa-san? Yes, I am. You can call me Yukari. She was three times more beautiful than what I imagined. She looked so young that people might assume that I was the one who was nine years older. Uh, I don't want us to talk here, so would you like to eat or drink something around here? Yes, I love that. Her smile is gorgeous. She's so pretty that I can't look her in the eyes properly. As Yukari-san and I headed to a cafe, I could feel my heart beating faster. We entered the cafe and properly introduced ourselves once more. We small talked about our hobbies and whatnot. Yukari-san looked very mature, but she had childish expressions at some moments. Speaking to her in person, I saw that she was a funny person too. Anyways, why did you ask Kojima? What do you mean, why? I just thought you would be able to meet a nice man at your work or something like that. I can tell that you're a very charming person by talking to you like this. <laughs> Masaki-san, you're very good at complimenting women, aren't you? Oh no, uh, it's nothing. I didn't want to just meet anyone. I wanted to be introduced to you, Masaki-san. <laughs> Yukari-san, you're good at sweet-talking too, huh? I'm serious. I wanted him to introduce me to you. What? You weren't okay with just any other guy? The thing is, we've met before. The first time we met was about five years ago. I've been a regular at that izakaya since then. Really? I never would have imagined that I had met her while I was working at the izakaya! Two weeks ago, Yukari-san was talking to Kojima at the izakaya. By the way, the guy that was working here five years ago, the one that was close to you, is he doing okay? Are you talking about Masaki? He's wearing suits every day and working as a businessman now. But I mean, he was dumped recently because of his low salary. What? Really? Yeah, they've been dating for five years. But she left him because he didn't have a stable future or something like that. Does that mean he's single right now? Can you give me his number? She asked Kojima for my number, but he was hesitant to give it to her. So that's why Kojima called to ask me the favor. I was a bit drunk. Oh, but I did actually want to meet you. Oh, 
but why did you want to meet me? Honestly, even though she was a regular, I don't remember someone this pretty coming to our izakaya. It's a little embarrassing to explain. So, can I tell you another time? Oh, okay. Did something embarrassing happen five years ago? Unfortunately, I couldn't remember a thing. We went to an aquarium after that. Look, look! It's a penguin! Oh, they're so cute! They really are. I don't come to places like this, so it's super refreshing. I'm having so much fun! If I was being honest, I couldn't think of many places to have dates with a woman who is nine years older than me and chose an aquarium in the end. But it seems like she was having fun. Yukari-san looked so cute excitedly looking around that I could watch her forever. Being with her was so much fun and made me feel better too. I didn't want to compare her to Emmy, but I felt comfortable being around her. Thank you for spending time with me today. The pleasure is all mine. I had a lot of fun. Will you go on another date with me again? Yes, of course. Just like that, our first date went pretty well. But... We went on two or three more dates after that. But our relationship didn't go any further. Time continued to pass while she never told me about the embarrassing reason why she chose to contact me. Maybe I'll rely on alcohol for our date next week. Kitamura-kun! I'm going to see a client now. Will you accompany me? Oh, yes sir, of course. Still, my priority should be making my life more productive. It didn't matter when I was a student, but it seems like a balance between money and time is necessary for our relationship. Where are we headed today? A beauty salon. Hopefully we can get a contract for the new model of the facial meth- I agree. Let's do our best. After going around to a couple of beauty salons, we headed to the last one when- Nice to meet you. My name's Yukari Himekawa. What? Yukari-san? Hello, hello! Nice to meet you. I heard she was working at a beauty salon, but I didn't think it'd be here! We went into business talk quickly after that, and while my coworker talked about our product, I glanced into Yukari-san's face. Yukari-san looked unfazed as she listened to the presentation. She seems like she could professionally separate her work and personal life, so we didn't mention anything about how we knew each other. I'll discuss this with the higher-ups and contact you with a decision in a few days tops. Thank you so much. Thank you so much! Everything went peacefully, so my co-worker and I headed back to the office. But on the way back... Huh? A text message from Yukari-san? Oh, this was my first time seeing you in a suit! You look so handsome! Well, obviously she noticed it was me. I want to drink something with you while you're wearing that suit! Oh, do you want to go drinking after we both finish work? I'd love to. Alright. Now that that's decided, I have to finish and clock out on time. Well, well! That person was a beauty, wasn't she? Huh? Uh, I agree. I would have asked for her number if I was ten years younger. <laughs> if he was ten years younger... I wonder if Yukari-san is in a rush about marriage and having kids already. What's wrong, Masaki-kun? Oh, nothing. Is it about your work? Or something in your private life? Um, Yukari-san? Marriage and things like that? <laughs> well, I am 34 already, so yes, to an extent. She is. I didn't put too much thought into it in my early 20s, but there was a point in my late 20s when I was feeling a bit panicked. But after going past my 30s, I stopped thinking about it so much. What? Why not? I like my job at the salon right now, and... I don't want just anyone out there. I want to grow old with someone I love. Someone you love? Maybe that's why I'm part of the unsold goods section. All my classmates got married already. To be honest, it sounds kind of like an insult when my friends tell me that I'm working hard at my job. But I don't care. I already decided that I'm going to be with the person I love. Um, and that person? <laughs> Let's end the conversation here. I get to spend time with you today, so I want to have fun and drink. I got the subtle hint. The person Yukari-san was talking about was me. 
but it seems she was being considerate and trying not to talk about heavy topics with me. However, I was curious. What was actually going through Yukari-san's head? <sighs> I can't drink anymore. What? It's only your first glass! I'm kind of a lightweight. I thought she was strong with alcohol since she was a regular at an izakaya. In the end, I left the restaurant within an hour, with Yukari-san on my shoulders. Yukari-san, are you okay? Our night is just getting started. Yeah. Let's head home then. Masaki-kun, I like you. What? You're so nice, even to an old lady like me. You're such a responsible and kind person, Masaki-kun. Old lady? Yukari-san, you're beautiful. Really? Yeah. You make me nervous every time you look at me. I get sad whenever our dates end. Then I get excited for the day I get to see you next. Really? Are you sure? You're not just being considerate? Of course not. Oh, the taxi is here. Let's get on it. After that, I followed Yukari-san to her apartment, but wait, haven't I been here before? I was suddenly hit with a sense of deja vu. At the same time, memories from five years ago came back to me. Five years ago, when I was still working at the Izakaya, we were closing soon, but there was a lady sprawled out on the counter. Um, excuse me, miss. We're closing soon. Hmm, I know. Whoa, she's super drunk. Kojima, what should I do? Our boss isn't here. I'll take care of the rest. So can you drop that lady home? I guess so. We decided that it was dangerous for a woman to walk alone at night. And so, I ended up dropping her home. When we got to her room, the lady pulled my arm. Please, don't leave me alone. I couldn't see the woman's face clearly because it was dark. But now that I think about it, I feel like it was Yukari-san. I couldn't leave her alone, so I stayed with her until morning. Of course, I didn't do anything sketchy because I was dating Emmy. This room... The drunk lady five years ago. That was you, wasn't it? Yes. I'm sorry for being selfish that time. It's completely fine. I was actually kind of sad that day. A man and a woman alone in the same room. But you didn't do anything with me. I thought that I wasn't attractive because of that. Oh, that's not it at all. I had a girlfriend at the time. I mean, not anymore, but... I didn't know that you had a girlfriend. Still, I can't believe that I did that when I got drunk. What about now? I'm an old lady now, but... Yukari-san! You're so attractive that I don't think I deserve someone like you. Honestly, I'm the one who's not confident. Really? Oh, thank goodness. I've had feelings for you for five years since that night. What do you want to do tonight? When she looked at me with those puppy eyes, I felt so much love for her. Yukari-san had feelings for me for five years. Then there's nothing else for me to do but reciprocate those feelings. No. I just simply wanted to have Yukari-san by my side. Six months after that, my ex-girlfriend, Emmy contacted me. She said she had something she wanted to talk to me about. A long time no see, Masaki. How have you been? Yeah, it's been a while. Masaki, I heard you got a promotion after your sales went up. Congratulations! How do you know about that? My friend at college works at the same company that you do. Oh, the one working in general affairs. So, anyways, will you get back together with me? What? Now? Why? I broke up with my boyfriend because I realized I wanted to be with you. I'll support you now for all the times you've supported me. She's doing this because she found out I make more money now. I realized after we broke up that Emmy only saw me as her personal ATM. Her boyfriend probably broke it off with her after finding out she was a terrible spender. I'm sorry. I can't do that. But... but... You still love me, don't you? Why would you say that? I'm married now. What? We only filed our papers last month, so our wedding is next year. What the hell? I didn't hear about that! Emmy, 
Happiness to you is living a luxurious life, isn't it? But that's not what happiness means to me. I finally found someone who actually loves me. She's older than me, but she's beautiful and cute. I love spoiling her, and she's wonderful. <laughs> she's probably just an old lady that was late to get married. Masaki, are you done? <laughs> Yukari, let's go. We're already done with this conversation. Okay. See you, Emmy. Good luck with everything. She was surprised because I was an old lady, wasn't she? The complete opposite. She looked like she was surprised at how pretty you are. Are you sure? Emmy never contacted me after that. By the way, Emmy apparently quit her job and went back to her hometown. She was forced to leave since she caused problems by hitting up too many men from her workplace. I mean, I guess it was a good thing you broke up with Emmy. I think so too. Anywho, thanks Kojima. For allowing me to meet Yukari. It's nothing, it's nothing. You look beautiful, Yukari. Thank you, Masaki. Let's be happy together. Of course. I'm going to love you forever. Just like that, Yukari and I are living a happy and wonderful life as a married couple. Daichi! Want to hear something pretty swell? Nope, not interested. Save your breath for someone else. That's me, Daichi Noto. I'm your average sophomore who studies at an all-boys high school. There are a few people who I consider friends. I do somewhat okay-ish when it comes to studying, and I'm not someone you'd call particularly interesting. Really? That's all there is to me. See, dude, we were able to schedule a mixer with an all-girls school. Please, dude, I'm begging you, come with us! Yeah, just as I thought. Really not interested at all. I'm a pass for this one. Just why? You know this opportunity's too rare to pass up! Look, you've known me since middle school. I'm not someone who likes these kinds of things. Oh, right. I do know that you still have a thing for that girl, yeah? I mean, we just need to make the numbers. Please, dude, that's all we need you tagging along for. See, bringing someone not interested, you do us a favor too. Fewer competitors for us. So that was your ulterior motive all along. Dude, I'm on my knees! It was really hard scheduling this mixer! Ugh, you guys are just helpless. Okay, you could count me in, but only to fill in the numbers. Ah, I really owe you this one! And so, I joined, reluctantly. It'd kind of be a bummer if I was the one who crushed their chances of getting a girlfriend. However, on this day... Hey, hold on! This place is- Yeah, something wrong? Sorry, but I'm a head back! Huh? Why do that? Too late to be backing down now! Ugh, I should have really stayed home. If it comes to these, the only thing I could do is pray it's her day off today. While I was doing this ridiculous prayer of mine, my mixer partner showed up. Can I sit beside you? Oh, I'm Misa Narumi, by the way. Right. I'm Daichi Noto. Nice meeting you. Uh, cut off that solo private convo, guys! Jeez, you couldn't just wait for the drinks to come? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I kinda don't know how these work. I get it. Sure, we study at an all-boys school. Mixers like this are pretty rare among us. So we waited for the drinks. work here. Sis told me Mizuka was working part-time at a karaoke spot, but of all places, why on earth would it be here? Mizuka Karasawa. She lives right across from my house. As my childhood friend whom I've known since kindergarten, I've held these feelings, a one-sided love, towards her for ten years and counting. She's the last person I'd want to meet here and expose myself to when I was in a mixer. Just why? Ramble a plan for explaining the- Mizuka, look! I'm just here because they needed one guy to fill in the spot! Mizuka, there's no bloodbath whatsoever. I don't even know what this is. No, come on! I'm currently working, Daichi. Don't talk to me. So it was you, Mizuka! Good 
Yoshi that I know is not the type who'd join mixers. You are a complete stranger. Ah! Look, I told you, I'm only here because they were short on peeps. Well then, excuse me, please enjoy your meal. Wait, hold on for a sec! Yeah, it's exactly what you say. Look, sorry I joined this mixer even though I already had someone I liked. Well then, you two take your time. Daichi, don't ever speak to me again. 
After that, Izuka brought us drinks every time we ordered them, but she never even glanced at me. Not even for a mere second. Okay, we'll call it a day here. I'm gonna leave it to you guys if you're still up for an after party, though. Play a part of this now, Don't you worry. If all goes well for you, Noto, it'll all work out in the end. And trust me. Besides, you really shouldn't be thanking me right now. Uh -huh. I hope it goes that way. First things first, make sure you speak to her as soon as your shift ends. You get me? I promise. This will all go smoothly without any props. Okay, sure. Anyways, for warning that the next day, too, is a big no no. Head there ASAP. Her place is just a few steps away from mine. Should I really believe that everything's gonna go off without a hitch? As long as I follow her advice? Afterwards, I just went straight back home, all gloomy and depressed. Time simply passed in an instant while I was thinking about how to resolve such misunderstanding with the Asian girl. It's already 9 p.m., huh? She's probably blocking out by now. Suddenly, look, I'm really not in the mood to entertain you right now. I've got things to do. Yeah, you do. Your sister's here to teach you a lesson. Do you have any idea what you've done to my future little sweet sister? Ah! She caught wind of things pretty fast. Nevertheless, by someone who's a real pain in the ass. You heard the news straight from Izuka? I thought so too. Wow, those two are really good friends. Oh, but he heard from Mizuka that you went to a mixer. You totally owe me an explanation for this one. Those people gave up on Mizuka, and now you're trying to hang out with a different girl? Jeez, you're really trying hard to make me look bad here. Friends forced me to join them. I was about to text her. Then you barged in here. Really, Smarties? Nope, texting won't do. You go ahead there and talk straight to her. And yeah, she just told me she's already back home. Yeah, yeah, right. Don't even think of returning home until you pack up things with her, okay? I already get what you're saying. That's not something you can say while smiling, really. After that, I went straight to Mizuka's house and rang her in her call. Is there something you need for me, Daichi? Well, I'm happy for you, honestly. You aren't that popular, too, so... You've got it all wrong! Can you please listen for a sec? No, and why should I listen to you blabbering about other girls, huh? Tell me, Daichi. This is simply a misunderstanding. Look, I wasn't supposed to go to that mixer in the first place! I mean, yeah, you're right about that, but I did hesitate going there, and... Oh, you seemed rather enthusiastic about it, didn't you? Not really. Narumi was kind of teasing me during that time, and so that's why maybe it looked like that... <sighs> Casually calling her name again. Do you seriously like her? What do you mean, name? One I can call on a first name basis is you, Mizuka. She finally calm down. Uh, um, good to hear that, I guess. Look, Mizuka, I swear I only went there so that we could make up the numbers for the mixer. I just want you to understand that, Mizuka. Yep, and now that I think about it, you're really not the type who's interested in these kinds of things, Aichi. Now or never. See, it, it's gonna be really awkward if I try 
childhood friend misreads you, right? Uh, yeah. Forget about it. Anyway, we really don't talk that much nowadays. Plus, there's still this misunderstanding that happened today. What I want to say is, it was all my bad. Please, forgive me. But really, she partly shares blame regarding this, why we aren't talking much lately, fiasco. As she started getting cold and distant towards me suddenly. An apology? You're willing to do that? Yeah. I'm willing to do anything you say. I want a date. Uh, a date? Yep, I want to go to karaoke too. I mean, I'm fine with that, but... Dude, that was out of nowhere. I really thought she meant the real deal date. Turns so out she just wants to hang out. It's decided then. Like, I'm sort of embarrassed if it is at my workplace, so... I'll pick a different karaoke spot, okay? Sure thing. Guess that leads us with one in front of the station. Notes? Just like back in middle school?
out with me. I will. Obviously, I really like you too, Reggie. I'm really happy you confessed. You've waited long for this moment. From now on, there's no holding back from me. So be sure you're ready for all my love, Daichi. Yep. Ditto. I hope you're ready for me. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.